guys, what's going on? My name is Lewis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is January 15, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, Germans to prepare for war with the bear. X day fast approaching. Guys, let me just read this part really quick. If you can, please share this video. And it says, German media citing a document from the German Armed Forces reveals that Berlin is preparing for X day. That is, the day when a bear and NATO war will break out. Alright guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, some loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the, in the comments box and for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Luis Santiago at 3432 US Highway 19 number 2 Holiday Florida 34691 all right let's see what's going on in this one here guys so uh, you have NATO basically NATO is getting ready they're getting ready so German Ministry of Defense documents says Germans to prepare for events with the bear, X day fast approaching. The Germans are preparing for Armageddon. They are preparing for Armageddon. We are entering the critical period. Uh, Armageddon is a biblical name. Armageddon is. I wouldn't say this is Armageddon. Armageddon when when it's the very last battle of all battles. It's the very end. This here is just nation against nation. All right, so <clears throat> it says here you have the document cited by Build. It's marked confidential for official use only. And in the Germany, uh, German Ministry of Defense details, of course, uh, conflict between uh, the bear and NATO under the title The Road to Conflict. It is noted that this is the third time that a plan for German military mobilization has been leaked. So Germany prepares for WAR. Germany is preparing for a biblical war between NATO forces and the bear that could start in the, in the summer of 2025. Hmm. Here's the thing, guys. When stuff like this is uh, released and gives dates... Um, anything could change. There's a possibility maybe Germany and the bear might come to certain agreements by that time. Or uh, 2024, we could see a new leader in the sleeping giant that could, that could kind of uh, fix all this problem. Uh, if situation hit the fan, I believe it might be this year, not 2025. All right, so it says here, according to the document, on X day, guys, th th okay, let's stop here for a second. X is all over the place. You have uh, the platform X. And then you have this thing, very, very important people coming together. Leaders are coming together for next week, and they're going to discuss the X, the, the thing that's going around now, you know, the 2020 stuff. So they're calling it the X. And now you have the X day. And then, and then you have Elon, the X platforms. So what in the world is going on with all these X? <laughs> so, uh, according to the document, on X day, the NATO commander in chief will order 300,000 uh, troops to be moved to the eastern flank, including 30,000 uh, German troops. Yikes. Um. According to info, the escalation could begin as early as, excuse me, the escalation could begin as early, okay, it says it twice, uh, as early 2024 with the start of the bear offensive against the position of UKR armed forces. And that's what I mentioned. I believe if it happens, it happens this year. I believe there's a possibility, not spring. But I believe it's going to happen this summer. It's going to be really hot. And as we are heading near summer, 
uh, October will be even hotter because it's going to be uh, world elex election going on. So it's, it's just going to be... It's going to be one of those 2024 uh, exciting events of biblical prophecy. Now, I did post a video yesterday. You have the president of Belarus. He came out and talked about that there will be big things to come in the year 2024. So, uh, again, I do believe that uh, something big is going to completely shift uh, everything around. And there's a possibility uh, maybe they they might cancel the 2024 who knows uh they know that uh the four five is winning he's he's literally winning they can't stop the four five so they have to come out with uh some kind of uh plan in order to uh kind of uh put a paul pause to the 2024 by june of the same year according to build oh give me a second build the bear will have forced the yellow blue country capital army to retreat the most likely location for a conflict in the first instant, at least, will be the Swaki Corridor, located between Belarus and the Kaliningrad region of the Bear. However, the author of the article leave open the question of how to hypothetical escalation will end. Alliance Defense 2025, the script as published by the newspaper is as follow. The secret scenario of the German Armed Forces Alliance Defense 2025 begins in February 2024. Once again, uh, the secret scenario of the German and Forces Alliance Defense 2025 begins in 2024. The bear begins another wave of mobilization and calls up an additional 200,000 men into the army. So the bear gov, the K, then launches a spring offensive in the direction of the yellow and blue country capital, which will be a more successful until June 2024 and that summer, and slowly puts back the yellow and blue country army. The bear major offensive against the West begins in July. And that's what I just mentioned. I believe summer is going to be really hot. Serious cyber event and other forms of uh, warfare, hybrid war, uh, warfare, especially in the Baltics, uh, lead to new crises all the time. The bear begins to incite ethnic bear uh, minorities in Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. There are conflict which, uh, according to scenario, the bear is using an excuse to start the large-scale Zapad 2024 exercise with 50,000 boots in the Western Bear in Belarus from September. But, as in 2021, the bear is abusing its alleged maneuvers in Belarus for a massive troop buildup on the border with Poland and Lithuania. In October 2024, the bear moves troops and medium-range missile into Kaliningrad and continues to arm its enclave while spreading false propaganda about an imminent NATO strike. The K secret goal is to seize the Sawaki Corridor, the narrow Polish-Lithuania uh, strip of land between Belarus and Kaliningrad. A lot of this stuff is already prepared. A lot of this stuff has been prepared for like two two years already ever since a uh, ukr and the bear went at it and the bear when it comes to the game of chess and i've been saying this over and over the bear is ready the bear is strong the bear has been going after not only ukr but stopping the sleeping giant natl from sending stuff and look i want people to understand i know a lot of people uh are supporting ukr but i want people to understand Mr. Burns was never supposed to be in that spotlight. Mr. Burns did not come out victorious. All right. So you guys already know Mr. Burns, J-O-E. So anything that he does, to me, I don't see it as, you know, whatever. But then we have to uh, realize and understand God allowed uh, him to be in that spotlight. So a lot of stuff that uh, J-O-E is doing 
is again lining up to scriptures. So again, God uses certain uh, certain people and put uh, you know allow them to be in the spotlight for for um, again uh, prophecy uh, fulfillment. Now again, we are living it and seeing scriptures happening right in front of our faces. All this leads to Jesus returning. So at the very end, um, when it comes to these biblical war. I'm not a cheerleader. I'm just a watchman. Um, you know, we were called to be disciples and go out and spread the good news. And that's the gospel. Uh, from December 2024, there will be a artificially induced border conflict with, man, we're going to skip that word, and many D-E-A-T-H-S in the region. Just when the sleeping giant could be pretty much leaderless for a few weeks after Mr. Byrne likely elects loss, the bear is repeating its 2014 invades of eastern UKR, but on NATO soil. Here's the thing. If Mr. Byrne lose and the 4-5 gets into the spotlights, the 4-5 is a lot a lot more tougher than Mr. Burns. The 4-5, um, you know, he truly care about his military. And seeing that uh, a lot of our, you know, what uh, base is being impacted, the 4-5 is not going to tolerate that. Now, the 4-5 said that he would talk to these lands and come out with something and just kind of end all this. Will it happen? Well, uh, we're going to see, guys. But one thing I tell you, the 4-5 is not a savior. Uh, he's not going to uh, stop many stuff. If King David had a hard time stopping enemies, uh, what make you think the four or five is gonna stop? Uh, you know, uh, bring peace to the world. So again, um, uh, the four or five is only a man; he's not a messiah. All right. So shortly thereafter, an emergency meeting of the U Blank Security Council is held, in which the bear accuses the sleeping giant and an ATO of preparing to strike the bear. So you have uh, Poland and the Baltic states reports growing blank from the bear at North Atlantic Council in January 2025. The bear moved additional troops to the Baltic and Belarus in March 2025. Give me a second. So I don't know if... 2025 is the right number, or are they trying to say 2024? I'm going to have to do some research on that one. So, in Belarus alone, the K, the Bear Gov, will now have two tank division along with motorized brigades, totaling more than 70,000 troops. In May 2025, NATO decides on credible deterrence measures to prevent a bear strike on the Suwaki Corridor from the direction of Belarus and Kaliningrad. Our next day, the NATO Supreme Commander orders the transfer of 300,000 boots to the eastern flank, including 30,000 German troops. The scenario ends 30 days after X day. Whether the bear will be deterred from NATO deployment remains an open question and exercise scenario. And that's where a lot of stuff is going to take place. Now remember, killing the grad belongs to the bear. It's going to hit the fan pretty soon in that region. All right, guys. The preparation to X Day, which is a biblical war between uh, Germany and the bear. Germany. The Bear Territory, and you guys already know Belarus is going to play a huge role. They're going to play a huge role. They definitely, down there, UKR, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, the Baltic Sea. I mean, definitely uh, all these regions is going to see a huge biblical event. Right now, they're just preparing and getting everything ready. But uh, the main focus is way out there in the opposite side, which is the Red Sea. So the Sleeping Giant, they love this stuff. John Bolton is, you know, fixing his mustache, and I love these biblical wars. A lot of Ching Ching gets involved in this type of stuff, but uh, yeah, L I V E S is being taken away, a lot of them, and it's just the tip of the iceberg. 
Please prepare yourself spiritually, physically, and mentally, and stay focused in the kingdom of God. Stay focused in Jesus. Repent and open your heart to Jesus Christ. Let Jesus come into your life. He will change your ways. He will again. You you will become a born again, um, a new person, and uh, just stay focused in our narrow path, and that's the path of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This world here, little by little, just waking up every day. You see that uh, things are changing. Even the color of the sun is changing. It ain't what it used to be, guys. Uh, eventually, we will see great shakening. But those who are in Christ will be saved. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.